guys having problems with animals getting into your bird feeders and knocking them down? Or even knocking down your fences and chewing on your trees? Well, you're not alone. Hello everyone and welcome to Dino Outdoors. In this video, I'm going to test out the solar powered ultrasonic motion activated animal repeller. I'll show you guys how to set this up then we'll go over all the details of this unit. And finally, we'll set it up and give it a test. Let's get started. All right, let's start off with the setup process. Start by peeling off the plastic off the top of the solar panel. Now if we go to the back side of the unit, pull this little tab out, comes with a USB-C charging port here. Make sure that you fully charge this thing until the lights turn green on the front before its first use. After that, if this is located in a sunny area, uh, it should stay charged. It should stay fully charged on its own with the solar panel built in. If you're going to be mounting this out in your yard, you're going to want to assemble these stakes and then insert the stake into the bottom of your device. Now locate a suitable area where you're having problems with the animals you want to rid and insert the unit into the ground. To activate the unit, press and hold the power button for one second. You're going to hear a series of beeps along with some ultrasonic tones followed by a series of flashing lights. Then when that's all finished, the unit goes into standby mode. As soon as it senses any motion, it's going to activate. You can just see by me moving the camera back slightly, it activated it. You could hear the beeps. And then again, you get the series of flashing lights to deter the animals with some more ultrasonic sounds. Now a little bit about this unit. This unit uses solar power to charge its 3.7 volt, 600 milliamp lithium battery. The unit does have a red LED indicator light on the right side of it showing that its charging status is. When the light is red, it's charging with the solar or the USB. And when that light turns green, the unit's fully charged. The device uses a series of ultrasonic sounds and lights to deter the animals. With the press of a button on the back, you can also turn off the sound and just have the visible lights. Has a dB value of 90 to 120 decibels. This unit has a waterproof rating of IPX65. The motion sensor can detect a 120 degree fan shaped area with a 40 foot radius. But it is recommended to use multiple devices for overlapping to get even more coverage. Now for the test. I got the unit set up. It's facing my jelly feeder and my bird feeder. We'll get the feeders set back into place. We'll get this bird feeder filled back up with some seed since they knocked it all out and ate it all. Make sure there's some jelly in here. We'll get this unit turned on. We'll leave it set out for the next four nights and see if the coons come in here and touch our jelly or bird feeders. I'll check back with you guys in four days. All right, it's getting towards dusk now. So I figured I'd give you guys just a little demonstration of what it will look like and what you can expect when an animal walks up towards it. So right now we're about 20 feet out and I'm just gonna start walking towards it and see when it activates. There we got activation. Keep walking up towards it. Now 
So I'm not sure if it picked up the ultrasonic sounds. I can hear it slightly with my ears, but you can't see how the lights work. Now I'll move a little bit closer so you can get a better view. And it picks me up right away at this range. Right now we're about eight feet out. It's actually pretty cool. Well, okay, I'm trying to move away now. All right, now let's do just a quick test from the side. I'm out about 120, 140 degrees, so we'll see when I come in if it picks us up right away. And it picked us up as soon as I started moving, which is good. So the coon were coming in here pretty regularly and knocking over our jelly feeder and our bird feeder. And my wife's like, you gotta do something about those coon. So that's why I decided to test out this ultrasonic animal repellent. There's corn behind us in the field. There's a woods to our west and there's a cornfield to the north of us. So there's lots of places for those coon and other animals like deer to come in. I've had this device set up for the last four nights. And so far we haven't had an issue with any coon coming into our feeders. I'll continue to monitor it and keep you guys posted, but it's safe to say that this thing has been doing its job. Really nice feature with this unit is the solar panel located on the top. You don't have to bring this in every night and recharge it. As long as you have some sun reaching the top of it during the daytime hours, that'll be enough to recharge the unit fully and should last you through the next night. It's easy to set up with the press of a button. The fact that it uses not only ultrasonic waves, but LED lights to deter the animals is a bonus as well. I hope you guys found this video helpful and informational. If you guys have any comments, please feel free to leave them down below. As always, thanks for watching and remember to get outdoors with Dino.